Happy Friday, tribe! How are you guys? I am tired. Uh, I got up at 4 a.m. this morning and I am in my sweats because I am finished teaching yoga for the day and on to lots of creation this afternoon for the healing circle. But what I wanted to talk to you about this Friday afternoon, it's really rainy here. I don't know how much you'll be able to see this, but if you look outside, my, uh, my view is pretty rainy and dreary, so we're just going to have fun with Facebook Live. <laughs> um, I wanted to tell you some of the things that I'm just really loving in my life right now, okay? Um, I've got a little list here. And first is I fucking love everything that Rebecca Campbell is like about in her books and everything right now. Um, really resonating with me and where I am on my healing path. She has nothing to do with autoimmune disease, but um, it's just like a really awesome spiritual teacher. And this book, Rise, Sister, Rise, was one of those books that I picked up like just exactly at the right time. So... Hope you guys aren't offended when I say the F word either. One time I said the F word in an email newsletter and I got a nasty email back from someone who unsubscribed from my list. She couldn't handle my language. And I just wanted to like let you know that I think words have the energy that you give them and I just mean them for emphasis, not for, I don't know, anything rude or vulgar. So use the F word, please do. Um, but Rebecca Campbell is amazing. This is a guide to unleashing the wise, wild woman within. And that's exactly what it did for me. It was like really embrace my femininity and like where I was in my um, different f uh, female or feminine archetypes. So this is really great. And I posted in the group yesterday, there's a webinar that I just stumbled across that I'm going to listen to tomorrow that is all about um, honoring and becoming more feminine or just like honoring that part of you that already exists right but it's we live in a very masculine world that's number one maybe i should put these into our comments of number one and what's what's going on what we're talking about today so number one is rebecca campbell everything um number two is just rituals rituals in general i'm absolutely loving them um I did the full moon uh, ritual that I did a live video and picture about uh, the other day, and <sighs> rituals have really kept me grounded lately, and I'm curious to hear if any of you are really dedicating yourself to any rituals in your life, and which are your favorites. They can be literally just remembering to take a deep breath before you get out of bed in the morning. It could be what do you do with the first five minutes of your day. Um, it could be a meditation practice. It could be pulling a tarot card for yourself. What What are your rituals and how are they filling your soul? Um, I'm going to keep track of these so you guys can come to the video at these points. Well, number two is rituals I'm loving. Um, number three is oils, which you guys probably aren't very surprised about. Um, I have a separate group for autoimmune disease and essential oils, and I personally use doTERRA, and this is my favorite right now. This is called Forgive. It is the renewing blend, and it's a roll-on. It has fractionated coconut oil, spruce leaf oil, bergamot peel oil, juniper berry fruit oil, myrrh, um, arbor vitae, I probably was saying that one wrong, newt country. <laughs> thyme and citronella uh, and it is like a little earthy woodsy but I really like this because it does have the energy of forgiveness and honestly I've been really um, not necessarily working on in on um, forgiving other people in my life lately but forgiving myself especially uh, with my panic attacks I tend to be very hard on myself about them and um, critical. And so this is just a really great oil if you're critical about towards yourself um, to promote some self-love and promote some forgiveness for yourself because you're awesome and you're beautiful and you're perfect the way you are. And even if you have panic attacks like me, it's okay. So this is forgive. 
Okay, and then the other oil that I am loving right now is one. So I went to this um, like metaphysical type fair like two weeks ago, and I met this woman whose name was Pixie, and she sells what's called Pixie's Potions, and this is the bottle. Okay, Pixie, Pix I think she has an Etsy store. If not, her email is on here, pixiespotions at gmail.com. And this is the Divinity Blend, and it has mugwort in it. Mugwort looks like this. <laughs> it looks like weed. Um, and it's just an herb. <laughs> and it's very good for, like, third eye, but also keeping you safe. And this blend of oils is all about, like, promoting your divine self, your higher self. Uh, it says it's mountain-born water and organic mugwort infused with moldavite. Moldavite, actually I have some, I got some at the same, a different booth, same day. Let's get a little special case. This is Moldavite, okay? If you guys have never heard of the story behind Moldavite, Google it. <laughs> um, it's really freaking cool. Um, and I was lucky enough to find some re a really affordable piece. This is a tiny little piece, but um, this is Moldavite. And so there is, you can kind of hear, there's um, some crystals in here. And... So the spray is infused with Moldavite. Um, what else is in here? It's uh, Reiki charged and Moonlight charged. And it has um, 11 angelic essential oils and sealed with a shamanic blessing. Uh, Pixie was a shamanic healer. So I've been using this one. And honestly, I haven't necessarily been spraying it on my body. I've been kind of doing it like around here in my shoulders because I feel like I've been carrying a lot of weight on my shoulders and like I have like energetic attachments to me so this has been really helpful and it smells delicious those are my two favorite oils right now um oh and I wanted to show you guys my uh number four which is my monk and I posted about it earlier in the week and um this is it okay so I just posted a picture of it before and um, this is the Zen blend, so it has frankincense, orange, and ylang ylang. There's different blends, and um, they're just essential oils. So it's like aromatherapy um, infused, right? So you're just getting the benefits of the essential oils and their aromas, okay? And like I said, there's lots of other blends. All you do is just breathe out. This is going to look really... I'm, I don't smoke anything, you guys. I've never smoked anything. So this is my, this is really weird for me. Um, so you breathe out, and then you breathe in. Let me breathe out your nose, okay? I don't know if you saw, but the little end also lights up. It's purple, it's super cute. I'm not convinced about these yet, though, honestly. They're very, like, it's a cool sensation. It smells really good. It's, like, refreshing and calming, but... Like, I, I wrote to Alex, I think, in one of her comments, I don't think it's going to, like, stop me from having a panic attack or feeling anxious. Um, at the, but at the same time, you're definitely getting the benefits of the aromas. So, they're pretty cool. I would be interested to maybe try some other ones before I'm totally sold on it. Um, number five thing I'm loving right now is bioenergetic medicine. Okay, so one of my clients told me about this and how she did this really cool scan on her energy field basically and it it's this um, company called Ness Health and they um, scan your body I actually talked to them this morning because I'm considering implementing some of their tools into my one-on-one um, -on -one practice with cli clients um, and so I was talking to this woman who works for Ness Health, and basically they do a scan of your body that p pull, picks up or shows on a screen, like using visuals, the energetic distortions in your body, which I think is so cool because I always emphasize the mental emotional aspect of healing, and what better thing than to see on a visual chart on your computer screen where are the energetic blo blockages in your body. And then if you knew you had an energetic block, say, in your, your throat and, and thyroid issues, then we could also root that back to a lot of Louis, Louise Hay's research, which is that, okay, if you have thyroid issues, if you have throat issues, it's coming up in the scan, too, um, that you might have throat chakra blockage and trouble expressing yourself, 
Um, you might be afraid to speak up or speak the truth and go to the, some of the emotional things that are behind this. And then dig deeper into your past and your childhood and any energy you're still holding on to on why, okay? Um, especially, yeah, if there was trauma. Um, so this is really cool. I'm learning about it. I'm going to go through treatment so that I can give you guys uh, information. And again, if I like it, I might implement it into my private practice. But you get to see like damage to organs. It can show you your nutritional deficiencies and any sort of emotional disturbances in your body. Again, so we focus so much on the pills and the nutrition and like the very physical, right? And so a lot of what I infuse is to help balance whatever other treatments you're going through by giving you the emotional. And how do we get our how do we use the power of our brain and our mindset to help promote healing? Um, so it was really cool to, to learn about that, um, and that it does, you know, it's based on years and years of research and as something that you can like physically see. So I have a scan, my scan with them is next Tuesday or Wednesday, uh, this coming Tuesday or Wednesday. And so I'll uh, report back to you guys on how that went because I'm really excited about it. Uh, number six is paleo balls. <laughs> okay. So I love um, Paleo and OMG's website and all basically all of her recipes. They're not all AIP and these balls, actually, here it is. Here is my Paleo ball. Okay, so I always use Enjoy Life chocolate chips um, because they're dairy-free, nut-free, soy-free, all the good stuff. Um, I think that's it. They're like made, all the major allergen they are not included in any of the uh, um, Enjoy Life products. So I always buy their chocolate chips. And this recipe, I'll show you guys my computer screen. So again, it is Paleo OMG's website. And these are called her Pumpkin Spice Chocolate Chip Energy Balls. And I hope you can see this. So there's the ingredients here for these specific ones. But once I made these, so these have like raw cashew butter, coconut, dates. I left out the maple syrup because I didn't think they needed to be any sweet, sweeter. Um, you could also leave out the protein powder unless you're just going to use like pure collagen to make them um, more AIP friendly um, or less added sugar. So again, the, the cashew butter is not AIP. But if you tolerate nut butter, these could be a really cool option. And then um, even like the flaxseed and chia seed not AIP but they are paleo and if you don't tolerate seeds these would still be fine without them um, again you don't really even need the vanilla extract and then she uses the enjoy life mini chocolate chips as well so I followed her recipe to a tea the first time though and then now it's like okay I don't need the maple syrup so I tweaked and I took that out and then I basically just been taking like similar ingredients and I made like a mocha one um, I made like a greens and protein one for my boyfriend because he needs something quick to snack on at work. And I've just been playing with, you just put them in the blender. Sometimes um, I've tried to, an almond meal, that's it, a great way to use the leftover of any almond milk you might make at home um, instead of using butter. Uh, and I tend to digest almond meal a little bit better than the butter um, for whatever reason. And I can, I can tolerate nuts in moderation. So these are like my special treat. <laughs> um, and I, yeah, I've been loving them. So I will post this link to this recipe as well. And I'm curious what your guys' um, go-to snacks are. I like these because I at 4 a.m. when I wake up, I can put two into a um, little Tupperware or whatever. And I can just grab them and go. So what are your favorite grab-and-goes? Um, this one's more of a treat grab-and-go. Uh, but you can add collagen, you can add protein. Um, I put a lot of coconut oil in there um, for kind of like a fat bomb. And then my girlfriend from high school who is at Nourished World or nourishedworld.com sent me a brain-boosting superfood powder last month. So I've also been putting the brain food, it's a powder, into the balls too. So I've got like brain balls and fat balls and protein balls. And basically I'm just obsessed with 
all of all of the above. Um, next number, what is this? Number seven, Yin Yoga. <laughs> I um, really love Yin. So if you think of your Yin and Yang or Yang. Okay, Yin is going to be the feminine. Yang or Yang is going to be the masculine. Uh, and yang, yang, uh, yoga is more of like an energetic power flow, vinyasa flow. That's what I teach mostly. And yin is going to be more of a restorative, um, slower yoga, basic all on the floor. It is all on the floor. Um, whereas in yang practice, vinyasa practice, you're going to have like balancing postures. Um, you might be on one foot, you'll be flowing, moving faster with breath. And yin is going to be one to five minute holds in one posture. So think of like a butterfly where you bring the soles of your feet together and you lean forward. So you would hold that for about three minutes. And what the difference is and why I've been loving the yin is number one, I'm really working on honoring the feminine. But two is it works like the space between your bones and the deep connective tissues in your body. Um, whereas if you're only practicing vinyasa or power flow, you're definitely like going to build some muscle and some flexibility. Uh, you might lose some weight, but yin is going to get like all the juiciness in there. And to me, that has been very like therapeutic, m very meditative since you are holding postures for a longer amount of time. And like, you know, when your body's holding on to this deep tension. And when I do my yin, that it just slowly melts away, okay? And I'm excited because I'm gonna incorporate more of the yin into our uh, yoga part of the healing circle for April. And it'll be like a lot of heart opening uh, for our sensitive hearts as empaths. Uh, okay, number seven, number eight, big magic, more books. I'm all about the books. Uh, I've been reading a lot lately and big magic, is the book so I finished Rise Sister Rise very quickly and I'm actually I think I've been reading this for like three days and I'm already like halfway through this as well it's super easy and fast read one of my girlfriends from my doTERRA oils team recommended it however I've I've been like seeing it float around Instagram for forever and it's been on my Amazon wish list so I finally got it and um, Elizabeth Girl Gilbert is the author of Eat Pray Love which I'm sure most of us have read this is very different. It's it's really about how to live creativity, creativity, creati creatively. <laughs> Whoa! It's Friday and I got up at four a.m. How to live create creatively, um, and really move past fear, move past the blocks or the voice in your head that says like, "Who am I to do this?" Um, and fear, I think, is also what keeps us stuck in disease state. Is that we're constantly in a state of fear or survival or fight or flight or have our guard and walls up and um, when there's fear it's really hard to be creative and to rest and digest and heal and find joy so this is all about um, she talks about like a lot from a writer's point of view um, or a writer's seat but really good so far, I've really loved it for just inspiring more creativity in your life in many ways. Cool. All right, number nine. I'm going to do ten of my favorite things this Friday. Um, number nine is, oh, I love this. Okay, so I work from home, and so most of the time I just, because I'm an empath, I can't handle a lot of noise around me. I used to work at coffee shops and it got way too draining. Um, the energy was too intense. And so I um, just have my laptop lifestyle here at my desk and have like made my sacred space. My point is, is that I never even really used to listen to music while I worked because it was, there was too much going on for my mind. Um, and so, as I write this in the chat, what I've been loving though lately is that I can actually handle is shamanic drumming. And it's just like meditative and repetitive. And a lot of times they're either like 
have infused like Reiki healing music or chakra healing music or um, different like uh, frequencies and wavelengths uh, and then they infuse this then into shamanic drums too which is just really cool and I'm uh, going to go see some female shamans this weekend here in Colorado so I'm pretty like into it right now but anyways the one that I've really been liking is I, I pulled it up I hope I kept the tab up on my computer so it's called it's by Tim Norton sacred sounds traditional shamanic drum journey okay there it is I'll post that YouTube link in the group while I do I'll just push play on this so you guys can hear it a little bit Maybe. Kind of like makes you want to dance around in a circle, right? <laughs> Let me post this in the group. Okay. Yeah. It's just like, there's like rain sounds and animal sounds and it's not, for me, it's not too overwhelming to then also concentrate on what I'm trying to write. Alright, I'm going to turn this off. And come back into Facebook. Okay, so the last thing that I've been loving lately um, is sisterhood. And I, honestly, I talked to a client about this this week too where there's so much connection to be made online and there's so many amazing groups and communities and I'm, I'm part of a lot of them, as I'm sure many of you are. And it's, it's really because I, I am craving this connection to people, um, but that I have been also craving this like in-person connection, just like my client had as well. And so I'm excited this weekend because I'm gonna go and sit in some women's circles and we're going to do a lot of like honoring the feminine with these shamans but um sisterhood to me is just like you get to choose the people that you surround yourself with the people that you just like meet and know are on your wavelength that resonate with you on a deeper level of connection or just understanding and when we have we're all here for a common purpose and a common cause, which is autoimmune disease or symptoms. And so that one thing unites us, and it doesn't have to be negative. It can actually be this very beautiful thing that disease has allowed us to come together and share and create this sacred circle of women that you guys are so much more powerful than you ever know, too. Like, you're powerful beyond belief, beyond measure, like um, Marianne, Marianne Williams said, Williamson says. What does she say? Our, our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. Well, that's what I think about all of you. And you all have amazing stories. And I've been privileged and honored to listen in depth and detail to at least a handful of yours. And, I mean, some of them have brought me to te tears because just to see the strength of the women in this community and that, that surround me. And so I just want to say thank you. And that's my number 10 is just I've been loving the connection to women who resonate on the same vibration as me. And thank you for being here. Thank you for showing up all the time. Um, and I wanted to take this opportunity too as I wrap up my 10 faves this Friday uh, to invite you to be part of that sisterhood on a deeper level and keep making connections. And I hope that it transpires to something that is not just online, but also in person someday. I've got that back in my mind here. We're planning an re in-person retreat in the future sometime. Um, probably won't be till after the summer, but for now, I would love for you to join the Healing Circle. You go to autoimmunetribe.com backslash healing circle, all one word, and you can read more there. But really what it's about is, is this connection and these little um, 
bits of inspiration and healing and knowledge that are delivered to your inbox and your actual doorstep once a month that keep you grounded and that allow you to create sacred ritual in your life that then um, starts to be the catalyst or the beginning of that snowball into many more things that um, are healing for you. It includes a yoga class every month that will be accessible to two women with autoimmune disease. I know sometimes for me, even if I, I teach at a hot yoga studio, um, going to those classes can be energetically overwhelming and just really not what my body needs right now. And so my home practice is my sacred space. And so I'm going to share that with you. And then um, there's also going to be a meditation. And so that'll be an audio from me just guiding you through visuals and audio cues on specifically this month, empaths, and how we, as people who are sensitive to the energy around us, not even just of people, of like objects and environments and pollution and everything around us, that how can we um, stay grounded amidst all of that, okay? So that's really what I'm hoping to bring in through the meditation part the yoga class will be similar and that we're going to be opening our hearts, expanding our sensitive hearts in a way that allows them to feel safe in this very big and chaotic world. Um, and then I'm going to provide you a video lesson that will dig deep into, first of all, we're going to start with the basics. What is an empath? Do you think you are one? And what does that mean for you and your life and your autoimmune disease? Then I'm going to draw the connection more so to how that affects your autoimmune disease and then give you as many tools as possible on how to see your empathic abilities as a strength um, while protecting yourself. So giving yourself a lot of tools to maintain healthy boundaries in your life. Um, and I just decided today, so I'm creating all of this this weekend, and I was putting the lesson together today, and I just like got inspired and decided that I'm going to put together a little quiz for you guys too. Um, so that should be fun. And then that's going to come with a workbook as well for you to work on some of the action items that were talked about in the lesson, but then at home on your own. And the beauty of this too is that you're getting a lot, but there's no rush. You have a whole month to go through it. And if you do the meditation day one, you can come back to it every day for 30 days if you want to. They're all for you, for life. Um, and then you're going to get a note to your door as well, a postcard from me. And it's going to have affirmation on it based on the theme that month. This April just happens to be about empaths and every month will differ in the future. So I'm just inviting you to, to join and to be part of the sacred sisterhood and join the connection with all of us. Uh, and just really investing not only in your health, right, or your healing process, but like in the divine power that lives in you. You deserve this and you owe it to yourself because you are more powerful than you ever know. Um, and I want to help you blossom <laughs> for lack of a better word so we can all blossom together not on this rainy day <laughs> uh, hopefully our sun comes back out soon so please join me the first month is eleven dollars that's super affordable and cheaper than pretty much anything in my life <laughs> that I cheaper than my supplements cheaper than my yoga cheaper than my gas cheaper than my juice <laughs> um, and then it's gonna go up to $22 a month after the first month uh, but I just want to, to you guys to get a taste of it and just um, see what the the value is of this healing circle and then hopefully stay in it with me but you can cancel any time so no no hard feelings if you decide that a month is not for you you need to do what's what's best and what's right for you today and always. Um, okay, so have a great weekend. Thanks for hanging out with me and talking about all my favorite things this Friday. Hope you guys come back, listen to the recording, and comment on what some of your favorite things are like right now in your life as well because I'd love to hear them. And I'll drop a link in for the Healing Circle. I hope to see you there.